How's it going, you guys? It's Fox Logic here. Uh, I've messed with my volume, so hopefully you can hear me a lot better. Um, I took the opportunity to move everything over from the island and put it in some boxes. Um, I am now at my new base, which is in the middle of the redwoods, and I actually feel pretty claustrophobic sitting in this little box. Uh, I want to be able to take over pretty much the whole area here. So I'm actually going to go around. I'm going to make sure that there aren't any threats nearby. So I will just dispose of this guy and put it over there. There we go. So I've got a Pariser over there. Uh, I've got some ducks. Um, the geese, Hesperonis, are pretty aggressive usually. They're not a super big deal, but like here's one. I'm just going to avoid them and maybe eat them later. But uh, yeah, I want to put gates all around this whole area. And then maybe later on, when I want to make my base look a little prettier, I will take them down and replace them with actual walls. So I went ahead and made some behemoth gates. Uh, I'm actually going to put the to tool toggle or toggle tool tips so I can actually see it. So behemoth stone gateway. I think I'm going to start with this area over here. As I've seen a lot of aggressive things kind of come from over here. So. But anyway, yeah. Um, uh, the move was pretty good. Moving from my base over in uh, Irby Island to over here. Took a little bit of time, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, at about this point... For those of you who are on official servers, I would actually start reaching out to whoever the Alpha Tribe is and start making some kind of an alliance with them. See what they're up to. You know, uh, It's really easy to tell if your server is an active one, as you will see a lot of people communicating in the general global chat. Um, if you're not seeing very many people chat in the global chat, that could be a problem. It means that they're all probably on a Discord server somewhere and they're having a party and you're not invited. <laughs> That's typically how that works out. So, yeah, if you have seen some global chat and you know that there are m multiple tribes on the server, go ahead and reach out to your alpha tribe and just uh, maybe even start a, um, a trade with them. Uh, Usually, Alpha Tribes are just tribes in general. Even in higher levels, they will always want cementing paste. So if you go, hey, uh, I got some cementing paste, can I trade you for, I don't know, whatever you need really. You get kibble, uh, more metal, and uh, normally they're pretty nice about it. Like if they... They're pretty much running the server. Uh, they're making sure that larger tribes from other servers, like I said in one of my other videos, if you're being raided, chances are it's probably not from somebody on your server. Uh, the alpha tribes typically do kind of look after the server and ensure that people aren't being raided. It's kind of like a... Uh, they kind of police the server by their own accord. At least we did uh, when I was on official servers. But though that is not always the case, uh, try to reach out, make some sort of an alliance, so that way you can keep building and not have to worry about being targeted. Because uh, if you're quiet for too long and they do realize that you're there, because it's kind of hard to exist without a tribe on the server that you're on without them knowing that you're there. Uh, but yeah, give them, give them a shout out. Just be like, hey, um, they still might raid you. <laughs> I'm not guaranteeing too much, but uh, how I have run servers and been on servers, 
That's typically how things work for me. I heard something hiss at me. Oh, good thing I got up. It was a, uh... Pegomastix. Which are known for stealing stuff. There we go. But yeah, um... I've been on many different servers and typically by the time I get to maybe a little bit past this phase, I'm chip I'm I'm in the stone phase right now. And uh, right when I start getting into metal, that kind of puts a big target on your head because if they're seeing that you're getting metal, well that also means that you could also be producing bullets and bombs. So they'll very much make a quick reaction and go, "All right, are we going to keep this person on the server? Because if they're making bombs, they're going down. But, uh, yeah, just do what you can. Um, I'm just going to keep putting the perimeter around my base. So that way I can make it a little bit bigger. And I can inhabit this area without any worry of stuff coming at me while I'm farming. But, uh... Yeah. I'm just making sure that the behemoth gates... This is kind of just a... a simple hold-in until I can get better stuff. I'm not really looking to make it super pretty. I just need it to block off the area for now. Looks like I'll have to make some more. This is a pretty big area. But, uh, yeah, I want to make sure that I can exist over here and not have to worry about... Ooh, being eaten! What was that? <laughs> Gallimimus coming up and squawking at me. Alright. But, yeah, I think, um, once I get... I only have one left. I'm gonna have to make some more which means I might have to go farming again. This is a really nice little area. I do have quite a bit of rocks around here. I took the Anki and went over. There's a uh, sort of like a metal hill that's in the middle of the redwoods in that direction. It's got a ton of metal, lots of crystal and stone. I think I saw some obsidian up there, but I didn't collect any. So there's a lot of stuff around here for me to use, which is really nice. Let's see. Can I see over this way? I think that might be going too far. No. I needed to go over there, so we'll just aim it over there. I hear some stomping. Oh, it was a T-Rex. Level 36. That would have taken a pretty good bite out of me. never really been snuck up on upon by a T-Rex. Normally they yell at you before they approach. <laughs> Alright, well, it's down there now. Eating that Gallimimus. I'll put the last door in. Okay, I'm gonna have to do some more farming. Looks pretty good so far. It'll keep most things out. I think... Okay, so that was 10. So I think I'm going to need... Oh, that, that only, like, only covered about a third. I might as well just go ahead and make a... We'll make 15 more. 
I'm gonna do some farming and I'll be right back all right welcome back I was able to make I think I made ten more yeah cool all right so I'm gonna keep my argent close trying to put these down. I think that's the right direction I want to go. Yeah. Well, no. We'll pick that up. That is another T-Rex. Well, hopefully I can get it down without risking getting my head bitten off. Alright, so what's the direction I want to go? Alright, pretty much just like before that tree right there. Alright, so right to there. Yeah, that works. Maybe I can block this off there. Oh, nope, I don't like it. Still don't really like it. I'll keep it, whatever. It is now the middle of the day. And I've got most of this blocked off. Hopefully I can reach up there. Maybe not. I'm gonna turn around and just get like a big bite taken out of me. Ah, or maybe that duck will bite me. Hmm, I finally get to see how deep this pond is. It's not super deep. I might be able to have, like, dolphins in here, but uh, I think I'm going to have to go somewhere else if I want to start breeding the deep sea creatures. Like squeeds. Okay. I only have five more. Yeah. I think I'm just over half. Yep. I don't know if I can reach over there with five and cover the area that I want. What is that? 
Oh, golden egg. Alright, now that duck is really going to get me. Run! <laughs> I normally would say- oh, it's almost about ready to spoil. Well, shoot. What I can do with this is I can feed it to my animal. And now my animal has a XP bonus. Those are hard to get. That's kind of cool. I'm surprised I don't see any otters in here. Oh, right as I said that. There's an otter. What level? What is your level, little otter? A level eight. That'd be a great companion. They keep you warm. <laughs> Those ducks aren't coming after me. I'm kind of surprised. Normally you pick up a wild animal's egg and they, they start attacking you. Okay. I'll keep going with my fence. It's actually not where I want it. It's definitely not where I want it. Alright, can I pick up? I can. Can I pick this up? Thank goodness. Alright, make sure that that's on land. That might be a little cattywunkus, but whatever. It works. I have two more. going to start putting it over here. What is that? One of the sloth things? Oops. Wrong thing. Where are you? Omegatherium. Those are great. They help you uh, collect keratin and chitin. I think it's actually mostly just chitin. They're really great against bugs. They get a, a bonus towards insects. Oh, what was that? Same thing. Okay. This game can get very spooky when you're by yourself. <laughs> Alright. I think my bird is in the way. is about as much as I'm going to be able to put down until I do oh, until I do some more farming. That's quite a bit for now. Where'd that otter go? Yeah, I might need... I bet I could make that distance with five. If I get five more. But now that I feel a little bit more safe, 
I'm gonna see about maybe taming that otter. So, I have my spears. Let that otter go. I know it can't have gone far. Oh, there it is. So, I what I could do is I could pick it up with the Argent. Oh, that is a much bigger otter. I'll take it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll pick it up with the Argent, uh, with the C ability. And I'll have the Argent hang out right here. Don't eat the otter, please. Alright. So I'll go with uh, the spear into the water to get a fish. Owie. Owie. I need to whistle you on passive. Still have the otter? Excellent. Owie. Alright, cool. So I got a saber tooth salmon, which is like the best thing you can get. And I just manually feed it to the otter. Super easy. But now, I can drop the otter. Quit running. And I can pick it up. And now I have it on my shoulders. And it keeps me warm. Which is super cool. And when I want to level it up, you level it up in melee. So you just keep leveling it up in melee, the melee affects its ability to insulate you. And now I've got an otter. Alright. So I mean this is kind of like a, a boring episode, but... I got a wall around my base, I saw a T-Rex, and I got an otter. Oh, and a golden egg. Which is really pretty cool. But yeah, I'll go ahead and call it here. Uh, thanks so much for watching, you guys. Really appreciate it. If you have any suggestions, let me know. And, uh, yeah. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Have a good one.